Hello, welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. This is a box and I'm sharing this box with you because I bought it twice. I bought the first one, this is the second one, and it's still on sale. Now I realize this is coming out, you know, the week before Christmas, but it's still on sale. And you can probably go to your store and get it. If it's not a Macy's, other people carry it, but I wanted to show you how this one looked on me if you saw my first one. So let's get to it. What did I buy? Um, this is a Estee, it is probably in the thumbnail, but this is the Estee Lauder holiday gift blockbuster set. Now I ordered it in the cool tones and then I wanted to get it in the warm tones because it came in two options, warm tones or cool tones. And I was, I liked the products enough that I wanted to get another set because this for me is an entire year's worth of cosmetics. Sorry. And skincare. I have a fly. It's driving me nuts. Um, so I got a couple things in this order. I have two things actually. So this is the other thing I ordered. I have extremely, extremely dry skin. So I was on the Macy's website looking for body oil or heavy cream moisturizer and I found this. Now I know nothing about this. I read um, the review. I just looked at it. I don't even know if it had a review. I read the product description and I wanted to give it a try. I think it was done by um, Minority. So it's y Yuzu, Y-O-Z-U, Massage and Body Oil and Lavender and Sage. So at night, I'm going to try this. And what it says on the back of the bottle, it says, Our oil blend deeply hydrates the skin and helps soothe, relieves tension. Made with moisturizing plant-based oils, including safflower, jojoba, coconut, and olive oil. 98% natural. And it says to... Massage generously apply to dry skin and use as a moisturizing body oil. Gently rub onto wet skin immediately after the shower or bath to restore moisture for ex for external daily use. So I'm probably going to use this on dry dry skin. It's not going to affect me at all. And I'll use it. I'll use to use it as a moisturizer. I use I've used pure coconut um, oil. So coconut oil when it at room temperature is solid and I've used that as a body oil. I've actually used olive oil as a body oil. I mean, my skin is that dry. There's not, I can't put enough oil on it. So I use heavy cream, it's all of it. So this has, the first ingredient is safflower. Um, let's see, olive oil, some other words I don't know. Fractionated coconut oil, probably to make it a, a liquid instead of a solid. Um, Jehovah oil, coconut oil, camellia sensus, green tea seed, and fragrance, which is probably the lavender and sage. So we'll see, we'll go, we'll see how this goes. Um, I'll use that tonight. But what I wanted, was waiting for, is this. So we're gonna. So what I wanted out of the set was this. I bought the whole set for this, which is this. So this is just a advanced night repair and I've been using it on my skin. So that one bottle will last me a long time. And But that one bottle by itself is rather expensive and I can get the whole set instead of buying one replacement item, I can get this whole kit. So I just went for the whole kit. And I will give my second star case to my sister. Uh, I don't think she bought one of these sets this year. So let's see what is in the pocket. So this is the mascara, which I don't use. But it is a sumptuous extreme lash multiplying volume mascara. Mascara. Here is the eyeshadows, or yeah, this is this is the cool pal. This is the warm palette. I think these are more my jam. I tried the cool palette, and I definitely think these fit my my color palette a bit, a lot better than the first one. So we're gonna let me unpack all this, and I'm going to show you, and I'm gonna put this stuff on, 
and have fun and then immediately go take it off and go to bed later tonight. You know? But, you know, it's about having fun, right? So, this is how the kit looks. So this has the face cleanser, the eye makeup remover, which I now have two of. This is the advanced night repair gel. This is the, what is this? This is just their youth power cream. Um, I don't think this has SPF in it. I think it's just a face cream. Yeah, this is just a face cream. This is the advanced night repair, which is the whole reason I bought this. I'm gonna put that up there. Surprisingly, while I don't like the beautiful Magnolia um, perfume, it's a flanker of the beautiful line, um, I love the hand cream. Go figure. Um, then let's see, let's pull this stuff out too. Actually, no, I'll pull it out. So, eye cream, eye gel, or eye makeup remover, face wash, and I'll use this too. I'll actually use this stuff more than anything. Um, and then you're left with this cool um, empty case. It works out pretty well. To hold, I'm gonna put my sister's Christmas gifts in it. I'm also giving her um, a red tote bag, so I'll just put that in the tote bag. It'll look, it'll be, fa it'll be fabulous, guys. She's gonna. I'm just trying to pop out. That. Okay, so this is a sun sun drop. So it's limited edition lip gloss, and this one. It's Ruby Quartz limited edition, and it's not just limited edition as the packaging. I have found that all of their special sets are things and colors they normally don't carry in their regular line. So if you fall in love with this, you're kind of stuck with it. This, or you're stuck with only this one. This is limited edition lipstick, and this is in the color 892. And it's this kind of a rose. A rose. This is beautiful. This has stamping on it. I better take a photo of that before I put that on my lips. Because that's really pretty. Ah. This red. This red. Guys. I know it's coming off orange. That's just my um, computer screen. But look. Look. Look at the stamping and design on this. If it will focus. Not on me. Is it doing it? Oh, good enough. Anyway, beautiful stamping. And this is a beautiful color. So this color is number nine, um, 882. Yeah, 882. And this is number... 892. So 10. Wait a minute. I think that's an 8. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So let's put some of this eyeshadow on. I have nothing on my face, guys. I'm just going to put on this eyeshadow because I think it's fun. And um, I do have to get my brushes. And I do need to get them washed or cleaned up. But I haven't done it yet. I'm slacking. I'm slacking, guys. But I'm going to use this big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put it all over my eyes. And we'll see how it goes. So we're going to start off with the all-over color of this nice beige. Which, does it come with a color? It's called Ethereal. Ethereal. So let's take this. So this stuff is a little bit powdery as soon as I touch it. So this is pretty, this is beautiful stamping on it too. If you can see if it's focusing, it has the horse, it has a zodiac, it has a pegasus over here, a winged horse, and then just stars over here. Very pretty. So on my naked face, 
nothing on it. I don't even think I put, cr I put nothing on my face this morning. I didn't put cream. I just ran out the door. I was running late. Nothing happened to my face. So I'm just slathering this because this, this color is like totally my skin tone. So it's just really going to give it underneath. And since I'm home and I'm not going anywhere, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of this stuff on for fun. So let's do this color. Let's try, let's see if I can find a different brush. We'll use this smaller brush and we're going to tap, tap, tap. Now this is probably going to be a little bit more. Um, Estee Lauder is beginner friendly makeup. If you're really good at makeup, you probably don't use this or you use this and you have moved on past this, but I'm still using beginner makeup and I'm wearing everyday office makeup. So I've been watching a bunch of, um, uh, makeup artists and it's awesome to watch them. I just don't have the time wherewithal or the ability. I could do it for fun. I could spend an hour on my makeup for fun, but in the morning I'm lucky to get out the door and put lipstick on. You know, so let me see if I can, I should face this way, guys. This is my new office setup. So I'm going to have some videos come out already in January that don't have this background. But after that, they should start all looking like this. I am changed everything around. I flipped my living room around for my makeup. Oh, not my makeup. Well, partially my makeup. I brought all my makeup out here versus having it in my, in my bathroom. So this is now where I put makeup on. If I do put makeup on, I come out here every day in the morning. I check my YouTubes. I check to make sure that my videos are posted or whatever. I check, I take, I have my medications over here on the side. So this is my base station for life now. This is where I'm going to be hanging out all the time. This is I hang out here after work. Um, I thought I might as well commit and change it around to make it more functional in my household. So unfortunately half my bags had to go into the closet again. So it's not as easy for me to get up and just show y'all stuff that I have right next to me. But that might mean I should plan things more guys. I can try. I can try. So I have hooded eyes. I'm half Asian. I'm Thai American, Irish American and Thai. So the shape of my eyes. I'm not the best at makeup. I normally just use a color and like normally in life, this would be it. This is all I'd do. I would just put a little bit of color on my eyes, a little bit of neutral as a base and I run out the door, but we're having fun, right? So I'm going to go in with this little bit of this darker color. So the colors I've used have been eternal, Supernatural is the color I put in right now. And the next color is going to be Blazing Bronze. And then the next one is Blazing Sun, Solar Eclipse, and Night Sky. So, interestingly, this is Solar Eclipse, and that's Night Sky. Huh. So let's put in a little bit of this bronze, which is this color right here. And tap, 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 tap. I want to pick up some of the pigment um, without sweeping it up, you know, so I'm just going to darken this with that bronze. Let's see how this looks. So I'm just building on top of the color I already put down. Nothing crazy, nothing exciting. Just adding a little bit more depth to the color. I know I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but you know, it's 14 year olds know a whole lot more about makeup than I do. A whole lot more than I do. So what I like about makeup like this is that it's easy to put on for me. It's kind of fail, fail proof for me. Um, cause even if I go to work and let's say it's not such a harsh line, it's very, um, beginner friendly. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this, um, this light shade and blend off the edges a bit and sweep the lid like that. So I wear glasses, so it's not like 
is a huge deal. But this is where I would stop. This is honestly what I would stop doing. This is this is the most I would do going to work. But again, since we're here, um, let's just keep going down the line. So I've used these three. Let's take a little... Let's see. I guess just to see what the color looks like. Let me get um, the cloth. Hold on. I want to clean off my brush. I have a microfiber cloth. It's clean cloth. And I'm just going to brush off the powder um, that's on my brush, as you can see there, um, to get it so I can pick up some of this bright... this bright color and we're gonna put it right here running out of room on my eyelids it's very light I find that the shimmers that Estee Lauder does do respond this way they're not as you like a heavy heavy shimmers is not this is not the makeup for you so I've used all of these colors and these are matte matte shimmer shimmer matte matte so I guess for a little bit of fun I'll take off some of the excess or clean off the brush and I'm gonna tap into this base with reddish orange and just put a little bit more so like Jackie you're going over the same place over and over and over with all these colors like I know So because of my hooded eyes, I go above where it looks like it should go so that when my eyes are open, you actually see a little wash of color like that. So when I close my eyes and I open my eyes, I this is a much better color palette for me than the, um, and I'll pull it out, the, uh, the cool cool tones and it's right over here I think yeah so this is the cool tone palette so to see them next to each other now I could wear them both but I definitely so the warm is on top the cool is on the bottom so the cool is called glow I think and yeah, fish, the cool tone, wait a minute. No, the cool tone is glam and the warm tone is glow. So the bottom palette is glam and the top palette is glow. And I, I could use all these colors. They're all gonna work for me for different reasons. It's just that this one suits me more. And what I'm gonna do now is if I have that, where did I put that? not there I'm gonna pull I'm gonna use this black I'm gonna show you how I use black eyeshadow oh these are my brushes over here and what I need I can't see is a super fine line brush that I I have a couple of them let me see where are you Let me use this one. Oh, here we are. This is better. This is a better one. This one. This is an angled brush. Very fine angled brush. And this is just a... I think this is just a kit <laughs> off of... Brush set off of um, Amazon. Nothing super exciting. Nothing super expensive. Just a nice little brush set because you need about a billion different types of brushes see um, so I'm gonna take this clean brush and stamp 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 and there's you can see the black and then what I do I just take a little just the barest amount
And that's what I look like with a little black next to my lash line. hard to talk and do this at the same time so there we go that's what I do that's the fanciest I get um, I don't get much fancier than that I can throw on some blush for fun I don't know should I have blended out more it's a lot darker than I normally wear it but when my eyes are open it looks fine so there we go. So I will, thank you for watching my, oh, I should try this lipstick on. Hold on. Um, I'm going to try on, actually what I'm going to try on is this, this, I like this color. So these have, um, a bristle brush and when you first use them, I just bend them against the edge so it loosens up the There we go. What do you think? I know my lighting. I need to figure out why my monitor makes all the reds look orange. There we go. This is just a lip gloss. I actually do like these lip glosses. I put them in my work thing and then I just throw them in, um, put them on when I'm in the office. This color is. A23 or 823 it's kind of a blur oops and it's called the ruby quartz and this one is the sun drops and I know it's gonna be too light for me but the red looks great so yay for the win I have these really cool makeup I'm very happy with it it's still on sale it's a purchase with purchase so in order to buy this I spent $30 on a lipstick and was able to buy this at $85 um, plus the $30 and for me totally worth it this is a year's worth of makeup for me um, this will take me a year had six months to go through this cream um, mainly honestly it's because I forget to put it on if I remember to put it on I'd go through it faster but I forget so by the time I remember it's like oh put it on put it on put it on and um, so this is my face no foundation no powder no blush, just eyeliner, or not even, not even eyeliner, eyeshadow and lipstick. And it's not even lipstick, it's lip gloss. So anyway, you do you. Um, I'm going to try and do me and wear makeup that um, works for my life. And right now, Estee Lauder's it. And it gives me good happy memories of my childhood because my dad always bought us these things, even as an adult. Um, until finally we asked him, can you please stop buying us cosmetics because I have too many. <laughs> so, um, but my, my father has since passed five years ago. So this is the first time I've bought this kit in five years and it makes me feel closer to him and that's a good feeling. So anyway, have a great day. Thank you for watching my video and thank you. Bye.